I appreciate you this morning. What I really want you all to understand, and, and let me get this set, is that God has something for you to do. God has some important things for you to do, and you've got to understand it like a calling. You've got to be like the caterpillar that's so hungry that all he's trying to do is get into his cocoon. Because he knows once he gets into his cocoon, ladies and gentlemen, then a metamorphosis is going to take place. And when that metamorphosis takes place, ladies and gentlemen, then what's going to take place is that he's going to become new on the inside. And what you got to understand is that God's metamorphosis takes place every morning inside you. And you have a call and God has called you to get it done today. Get it done today. God has called you to be proactive today. God has called you to stay excited and motivated no matter what you have to deal with, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be some difficult things for you to do, but that's why we starting out early to this day. That's why we starting out early today, believing that God's going to give you insight today and give you guidance and direction. But you got to be like the caterpillar, ladies and gentlemen, that's hungry, that once he gets inside that cocoon and the metamorphosis takes place. Then he becomes something totally new. He becomes a new species, ladies and gentlemen. And when that takes place, he has new tools, new wings, new insight. Same world, same people you got to deal with, but you got to go with a renewed mind. You got to be new even if, if they're not new. You got to be changed even if they're not changed. You got to be excited even if they're not excited, ladies and gentlemen. Because in order to get it in this life, you got to be excited. And you got to be ready. And you got to know that God is behind you, ladies and gentlemen. In this time, in this life, there's some incredible things that's going on right now. All all over the world, people are are are, are doing uh, mystical things and looking to the stars and looking to uh, astrology and looking to demons and witches and warlocks. They're looking for everything, ladies and gentlemen, except our Creator God, the un unknown God that you ignorantly worship. He's going to be on the inside of you. And he's going to give you guidance. He's going to give you direction. And so you got to look for it. Some people say you got to seek for God. Seek the face of God and seek God. So what you're really doing, ladies and gentlemen, take that word and put, take the word seek and put the word look. Look for God today. Look for God to give you insight. Look for God to show you how to do it. Look for God to build you up on the inside so that you can stay encouraged and stay motivated. Pray that you have more boldness and more courage to go even longer and harder. To, 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 to not give up so easily. Ask God to give you more boldness. The God of the universe wants to walk through you and give you insight. In Him you live, in Him you move, in Him you have your beings. You might as well not even move at all unless you move in Him. Today is a great day. Go on out today and be more than a conqueror. Go on out today and be a world overcomer, y'all. This is your day. This is your time. Don't be afraid. God is on the inside of you. He's going to guide you and direct you. That's what I want you to understand today.